Okay then, hello, welcome to another Retro Gaming Club, it's over, over and below now, which is weird. Uh, we're playing on the uh, the Master System Tool, the one I've got that was modified, see earlier video for that one. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to test some random cartridges, which is something we uh, do quite regularly. Just go on here, switch that down, do switch quite. that on. Pick that up, put that there, where's that there, what that there, put that there, where's that there, pick that up and press play and off we go. So, let's plug my charger in for my phone, otherwise I'll have a flat phone. Right then, so we've got some cartridges to look at and as you can see there we've got Tom and Jerry the movie, Rainbow Islands and Donald Duck. But, <laughs> we ain't got to play them just yet, hell no. We've got a stack of cartridges on their own to play. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So we've got 12 cartridges um, that we're going to try and get through in a reasonable, a reasonable length of time. Um, I'm going to put them back up here, out of the way. And then I will move in the master system. As you may know, uh, this is a modified master system, so instead of an RF, it's got the two jack plugs. Just change the focus so you can see it better. It's got the two jack plugs coming out of it, which means I can put it through the Elgato, and off we go. And there you go, it's a thing of beauty. And sort of. But it's a, it's a decent console, isn't it? I mean, it's, uh, you know... It's what it is. It was sold as a toy when I wasn't a uh, child, so I never bought one, um, unfortunately. Or fortunately, depending how you look at it. So we'll put the stack there as well, so you've got them both. So you've got the stack that we're going to play, and we've got the console we're going to play them on. And we will start with the top one, which, these are random. I, know what, I basically know what I've got here, but um, I'm not necessarily have any idea what the order is. I just think it adds a little bit of, uh, I wouldn't say jeopardy, but certainly an element of fun to it. Now this cartridge definitely needs cleaning because there is quite literally a layer of dust in there. So I'm just going to give it one wipe and two wipes. And that's from just two wipes. Oh, you can't see, can you? Do it that way. Oh, there you go. Two wipes of the thing. It was filthy. Filthy, filthy cartridge. So, good wipe, good clean. The underside as well. Actually, I should do this in view of the camera, shouldn't I? But never mind, don't worry about it. I never had one of these evening either. Mainly because when they were advertised on the telly, they, a bit like the old original Nintendo, they were sold as a toy. And because I'm that old, by then I was already an adult in my head. So, my hero, we shall turn it on. Hey, how you doing? Let's get some focus a bit better on that. No, that's not better, is it? That's probably as good as it's gonna get, to be fair. Right then, so we flick it on, and we see what happens. And the good thing is, the word Sega comes up, and it does come up with My Hero. Now, there's a built-in game on this, uh, which is, I think, Sonic the Hedgehog, or a goal. Um, it, you can never really tell if the game's going to play. But the good news is, the game is playing. The bad news is, I don't know whether the game's any good or not. So we're playing as Jackie Chan in Russia. bit of a story. Oh, I get punched in the face, then hit my girlfriend. So then we go on. Oh. Okay. Oh, we we'll start somewhere else. Can we only kick? Oh, I got killed again. Oh dear. Right, probably need to just go along, don't we? Oh. 
Well, that was exciting. So that was my hero. Literally, that is it. That was 1985, uh, 1986. Oof. Right. I won't be playing that ever again. Next one is Lord of the Sword. I'm going to have to use my remote control rather a lot on this. So you have to bear with me. So Lord of the Soul Sword, which is a game uh, which involves swords and things. Slightly tatty cartridge. All these came from the same person. Again, the amount of dust on there is unbelievable. So let's give it another. But obviously, the boxes have got mislaid somewhere along the way, which is fair enough. It happens. And then these boxes have been, these cartridges have just been left out on some kind of work surface or in an attic or somewhere and the amount of dust I don't know if I've got right close you can see the dust inside I don't think you can angle it a bit better I don't know no but anyway they're very dusty so does Lord of the Sword work short but sweet Yes, uh, I've got 12 unboxed games and 3 boxed ones to go through, so we are not hanging around today. We are literally going for it. So we've got the Sega logo up, and it does say Lord of the Sword. So we're at 1988 now. So by then I was I was over, well over 20. So, in fact you know that because you've seen me in 1989. So, uh, Lord of the Sword, Sega. Several thousand years after the downfall of the demon lord Ragorn, Balajivinina was once more faced with the great peril. In a scheme to restore their master, the followers of Ragun had killed the rightful king as an evil, as an evil sacrifice. Fear overran the towns of Balunini and lawlessness ruled the land. A council of elders... Ha, I'm Elder Gamer. Hi. Uh, seeking to restore order, described that... Uh, any any who sought the crown must first pass three tests. Number one, he must find the tree of morale, the symbol of the royal family. Two, he must subdue the goblin of the Bala Valley. And three, he must destroy the statue of evil. Landu, a brave lad, <laughs> brave lad, resolved to attempt these feats for the land he loved and set off to find the wizard Amon. In Amon. Oh, here we go. To be fair, for a mass system, they have really good graphics. I mean, there's not much uh, sound going on. Can we go in there? I think my remote control is knackered. I think my B button doesn't work. So let's um, let's try and we'll plug the master system control. We'll take it out. We'll put it down there, out of the way, and we will go up here and we will pick up a Mega Drive controller, which has three buttons on, but obviously only two would work due to the fact that the mass system only requires two to work. There we go. Take that back out. Put that over there. Stick that down here. Pop that in there. I think we're following this. Right, let's try again. B. Right, that's B. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so the B button's not working on my control. We can't go there. There's no sound. Is it me or is there no sound on this game? Oh, we can go in there. Landu, we pray for thee. If thou art tired, rest here. Okay. Oh, there was a noise then. Oops. Um, how do I jump? Right, 
you have to push up to jump. All right, okay. Is there any sound in this game? Wow. Killed them both. Where's he gone? Wow, well, this game is uh, something else. <laughs> I mean, graphically it's great, but there's no sound. I don't know if that's the cartridge fault. Where's it? Go? Why do you keep doing that? It's really annoying. I'm dead. Okay, so that was <laughs> quite literally that. So that was the Lord of uh, Sword. Um, yeah, that was that was fabulous. Don't worry, we've got fifteen other games to get through. Hello, War Ready. Uh, no, I'm not telling you how much these are. Um, so thank you, Lord of Sword. That was an event. Right next up. Oh. I remember this one. This one is Fantasy Zone. Now, if I remember rightly, this is a hectic shoot 'em up where you're like a little pod spaceship with little wings on it. You kind of whiz around everywhere, and there's all these cute things you have to kill. But I could be wrong. Right, I think we probably need another cotton because I imagine this this is dirty as well. So we shall do my usual. Little squirt of the uh, magic windaline juice. A little bit on the cotton board. And yet, yeah, absolutely filthy. Oh, you can't you can't actually see in there, but it is. Maybe if I double utilize my torch, there you go. And then shine inside, and you'll see what I mean about how dirty these are inside. Uh yeah. They are, that is, that is filthy. Trust me, trust me, I'm a doctor. In fact, I shall show you how filthy it is by cleaning half of it. And not cleaning the other half. Plus bear in mind that that is how dirty the cotton ball is from a couple of rubs. Who are misses? Who are misses? Right then, so. Uh, I need to get it in there. Uh, it's not really working, is it? But anyway, trust me, it's filthy. It's filth and depravity. So, fantasy zone. Give it another clean. Mindelene's good at this because it just kind of gets rid of the the absolute garbage that's on the disc. Put it in the shadow, you can see it better. Yeah, you can, can't you? That's the muck off, just the top side of this cartridge. The underside isn't much better either. Right, so, this is possibly a classic game. Fantasy Zone. No, no blowing cartridge. These, the, these cartridges need more than a blow. Anyway, it's lovely weather around for the time of year, isn't it? Ah. Okay. I don't know what's going on anymore. Somebody shut me. Somebody stop me. Oh, for God's sake. Well, the good news is it's working. The bad news is my mouse wasn't, but it's sorted. So... Final fan, uh, no fantasy zone. Not to be confused with Final Fantasy because it's a completely different game. So, one push and play, two push and there we go. Oh, one button. Right, there's no sound. Why is the sound gone? Where is the sound gone? Okay. 
Maybe there was sound on the other game. I just didn't have it right. Right, cute thing. Like I say, yep, you're an egg. You can go backwards and forwards. You're shooting cute things. Like these lovely little fish things. Ah, oh, this is insane. I'll give that another go because, to be fair, I was a bit annoyed with the lack of sound. Yeah, okay. No need to go on. See, I've got a Mega Drive controller in my hand, so I'm pressing start. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Right, what does that do with that? Oh, that drops a bomb. Okay. Oh, I crashed into the base. Notice it's random as well. There's different things coming. I've just noticed that. It's not like the same thing all the time. It's like random stuff. Oh, you can collect the coins. Okay, what do the coins do? Oh, you can walk as well. Okay. Big coin. Nostalgic game. I'm, I'm not no, I'm not nostalgic about this because I never had a Master System. I do remember this actual game, but I don't remember. Uh, I never. I've never played it before in a Master System. This is literally first play, and like I say, it's completely random. Which is, I'm quite impressed that the whole game is completely random. Either that, or they couldn't figure it out to. Uh, I don't know what the walking thing's about, though. Go away. Go away. Ah! <laughs> Should tink. We can go backwards as well. What the hell? Okay, so oh, nostalgia isn't everything it was cracked up to be, was it? So that was Fantasy Zone. Next, up, next up we've got Lemmings, or as I like to call it, thing that worms nicked. Yeah, story. If you uh, look back at some of my earlier retro gaming videos, I'll give you the whole story. What uh, about worms and uh, whatnot? So Lemmings. Now I am assuming. Possibly correctly, that this cartridge also is in need of some TLC. Um, I don't know where I put me. Oh, that's the one. Let's just use the last of the moisture up. Yep. So I'll clean that side, clean that side there, and then clean the dry it. So Windeline is pretty good at this. You've noticed I've not been blowing the cartridges. Warred has noticed already. So uh, give him a give him a quick. Uh, yeah, I'll show you. It's probably best to show you how to do that. Anyway, let's buzz it in. Let's turn it on. This is Lemmings, which will be impossible to play with the controller on a Mega Drive or a Master System or a Nintendo. They, it literally was a, a game that you used a mouse for, and I think anything else is completely not a waste of time. But who am I to uh, disagree with the absolutely amazing Psygnosis? And the answer is, I'm no one. So, we've got the Sega logo. Is it going to read it? Again, no, no blowing. Yep, there we go. Let go. Let the go. Oh my god. Published under license from Signosis, yeah. Uh, uh, 1991 to 92. So this is coming out in 1992. Wow, this is a late one then. But I played this on the Amiga. Just dig. Number of lemmings 10. 10% to be saved. Release rate uh, equals 50. Time five minutes, rating fun, level one. One to preview, two to play.
Right, so we we look for the digger. There's the digger. We select digger. How do you select the things? There's only two buttons. Okay, I'm with it now. I get it now. Right, okay. I thought I thought that was, I thought he was a digger. He's a diagonal digger. Oh, we just need to go straight down. I was overthinking this. It's like Squash should be played with a joystick with a pad, it's rubbish. Yeah. Loads of games were better off with a certain controller. And this is definitely a mouse game. Code for level 2. Actually, this is brilliant because one of my favourite things, absolute favourite things, um, when people bring stuff to the shop, particularly Master System games and occasionally Mega Drive games, is, and I'm not checked these for it to be fair, so I don't know if there's going to be any in here. Uh, there's a scorebook at the back of this one. But no, no code, so we'll shove that back in there. Um, This one, just got a code on it, it might do. But you often find, no one's written anything on this one, in the instructions, that obviously these were aimed at children. So you're looking at, uh, you know, between maybe seven and 12 year olds would have these uh, consoles in the bedroom. That's not going to instructions with it. And they would get their instruction booklet. So for example, this one. And at the back of it, it's got room to to write stuff like notes but the note you would write would be the code down there which is tgn svlwm and obviously if you're on like level 30 you want to make sure you get that right so they, they, they always seem to write it with a blunt pencil uh the bluntest thing you've ever seen you might as well just chop the end of your finger off and use that it's that blunt and they pressed on so hard, so literally the T would be like, like that. And you would, although it would only be on the page it's written on, the indentation would be about six pages down. Because, in my opinion, at that moment in time, in 1992 in this case, the, that code there was and is the most important thing in that child's life that minute that 10 minutes that however long it took them to write it and then i look at that and i think what is that child doing now do they even remember writing this code and they probably don't do you remember everything you've ever written no so at that moment in time the most important thing that they could do was write this code down correctly in the back of the book which they then put in the box and then they would type it in very carefully later on and you think you know they, they could be dead obviously but they could also be Doctors, could be lawyers, police, could be granddad, they could be, well, I don't know, they could be uh, running the Houses of Parliament. Well, no, maybe not. But you get the idea. It's just that little bit of that little snippet of someone's history is in these books. And I love stuff like that. And there are people who actually rub that out because they want the books to be mint. And I'm like, no, that, that's what they should be. That That is part of the history of the thing. And, you know, and if someone writes on it, you know, two to John, happy birthday or a Merry Christmas from Grandma and they write it on the label. Again, for me, that's part of the history of the thing. You know, where's John now? What's he doing? Well, he's running Tacky TV and he's an absolute arse. But that's beside the point. 
you get my you get where I'm coming from, don't you? I just realised then I completely went off on a tangent and I ended up sounding like James May. I don't think that's a bad thing, but it's not what I was aiming for. Anyway, um, let's carry on with the uh, lemming, shall we? See how far we can get. Only floaters can survive. <laughs> Well, we all know that floaters do survive. Especially when you're in someone else's toilet. Oh my word, yes. They survive and survive and survive. How's this gone from me being James May to me being Jeremy Clarkson? All I need to do is crash a car and then I can be the... Well, I get the full house then, don't I? Anyway, I digress. So let's find a floater. Uh, okay. So where's the floaters? There they are. So we'll select floater. What are they doing? Oh, we're going here. I picked it. I picked it. I definitely picked it. Floater. There we go. I'm going to save him all the way down. No, I'm not. Okay, I'll save him though. No, what? There you go. There's only two buttons. I've got, I've got, I've got floor, haven't I? Come on. I got him. Bloody hell. Where's he gone? All right. So there you go. Z T G. You get the drift. You have well your car fell apart. That's a very good point actually, Tough. Thanks for reminding me of when things go wrong. Brilliant. Anyway, that was Lemmings and my uh, my story about codes in Master System books. If you ever do buy a Master System game or a Mega Drive game or something like that, have a look in the back, see what notes they are. Uh, I also do vinyl records at the shop, and it, I love the fact that, you know, people write, you know, to uh, to Sarah, all my love now and forever, Christmas 79 from Billy. And you're like, oh, I wonder if Billy and Sarah are either A, still together, B, talking to each other still, or uh, they're just, you know, injecting each other somewhere. You just don't know, do you? Life has a weird thing of... Throwing your code balls. Anyway, uh, where are we up to now? We're now on to the next game, which is Secret Commands. No idea. Absolutely no idea what this is about. Other than it's a uh, secret. So, to be fair, I prefer it if you didn't watch this bit. Because there might be some state secrets given out. And uh, I could get done for treason. So, as promised... I will show you how to clean a cartridge. First of all, you get windoline. Windoline. You then squirt a tiny little bit of windoline on your work surface or a, a, a cloth or something. You can see it there, can't you? There's your windoline, a little splatter of it. You then get your cotton bud and you just dip your cotton bud in and rotate it slowly. So you don't get a huge amount on your cotton bud, but you do get and amounts so just just moisten it so it's nice and moist and then you get your cartridge and you rub gently oops what happened then oh no I don't even I don't even know what happened then anyway you rub gently along the top spinning it a little bit it's not easy doing it this way around but you get the idea and then on the bottom as well spinning it and windoline is really good at drying quickly it's also good at getting rubbish off as well so you can see the crap off that one and then you put your dry end in just to make sure there's no excess moisture there so it's instantly dried and that ladies and gentlemen is how 
RC ruined most priceless value item ever. Well, yeah. So there you go. I don't know what that's referring to, to be fair. I kind of. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know what's going on. Anyway. So. Oh, window. <laughs> Ta da! Product placement. PP. Yeah, let's, let's un un product place it. So. I've said that I am advertising the thing. I don't I don't work for Wendelene, so it doesn't really matter, does it? I'll give it a review. Right, let's see if this works. And the answer is coming up soon. It says Sega. Sega yeah. Still says Sega. It still says Sega. Just a secret command though, isn't it? Now it doesn't say anything. Now it says Sega. Well done. <laughs> right, let's switch it off. Ah, yeah. I didn't actually push it into this slot. <laughs> right, that didn't work. I think I've probably blown secret command up. There you go, my first blow of the night. I don't want to do it too much because I get dizzy. I don't mean the uh, the games by Codemasters. Secret command. Whoop. Woo. We are off ski. Oh, what have I done that for? There we go. We're off ski. This looks good, actually. Look at the effects of the gunfire on his face. Push start button. Oh, no. I pushed start button, but there isn't one. Oh, that's good, isn't it? I'm on my own. Alright, look at my bullets, how fast they go. Oh, they can't go around rocks. Brilliant. Oh, I got shotted. I'm deaded. Oh, I can walk through rock now. That's good. Oh, I just got shotted again. Come on, I'm moving up. Thank you. Oh, it's a grenade. What's the th what's the music? Music sounds familiar. Why does the music sound familiar? I've never I've never even seen this game before. Never mind, played it. good now this is this is Call of Duty circa 1980s gonna do a 360 no scope hey 360 no scope there you go grenade I'll blow that up now oh I got shot at again game over 2100 Wow. <laughs> wow. Nineteen eighty six. playing this again. I didn't realise I had a bloody rocket launcher. about the whole thing. Wow, shrapnel. 
Another grenade. Dum dum dum. Dum 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 dum. Ah, it's irritating me. I don't know what that music is, but I know what it is. Anyway, I'll wait for the copyright claim to come through. Oh my god, I've just seen what's next. Another story, actually. Uh, I don't know if you remember or not, but um, I did say uh, in the Mega Drive thing I did recently, I was talking about Terminator, and uh, I mentioned the fact that uh, I was working in 1990, so I assume this game is 1990. I was working in uh, Birmingham in the Bullring Centre in a shop called Microbyte, and we had a tie-in, or lots of tie-ins, with the local cinema, which is the Audience Cinema, which apparently had the second largest screen in the country, behind one in London. Um, and I went to see Terminator 2, a uh, press preview. Now, this game isn't Terminator 2, we've already done that. <laughs> we've got a Terminator's head here as well. Don't mess with me, even if you're a Terminator. Or you'll end up in a box on my desk, okay? Just saying. Um, so... <laughs> There was a film coming out, which was uh, the third in a trilogy. Uh, the first one had been incredibly successful. The second one was equally successful. And the third one was filmed at the same time as the second one, but with a smaller budget and less time because the lead actor had to go and film somewhere else. So it was one of them, a bit like Matrix. You know, the first two were brilliant, the third one was crap. Well, it, this is the same thing, but instead of going back to like the days of mum and dad uh, meeting and all that they went further back they went back to the western times in their time traveling delorean yes ladies and gentlemen i give you back to the future three the game you're not gonna eye hopes for this if it's the same as the mega drive version it is impossible um, but I did have, and I don't know if I've still got or not, the cinema standee for Back to the Future 3, where they're stood next to the train, because they, obviously they, they ended up doing a tra time travelling train, I don't know. But either way, um, Back to the Future 3, the game. <laughs> what am I doing to myself? Uh, oh, it looks actually quite clean, this cartridge, but I will give it a courtesy wipe with my moist stick. Just to, uh, make sure. oh, actually, no, it's not. It just looked a bit shinier. The, the label itself uh, seen better days as well. So it, this has been played a lot, but I think it's probably been thrown a lot as well. Because on the Mega Drive, this game involves you, um, first level, on a horse. I think you dock, and you're on a horse. You could be, you could be Martin McFly, I don't know. You're on a horse, and you have to dodge things coming at you, and it is impossible. I had it on in the old shop, previous shop to the one I've got now, for a week and no one, oh no, tell a lie, one person in that entire week got off the first level and then immediately died. Game over. So, how easy is it on the master system? I imagine it's going to be simpler because it's got less technology, for want of a better description. And then again, I could be wrong. I could be right. That was a public image uh, reference. That, oh, Sonic's come on. Oh, dear. Let's try again. If it doesn't work this time, we'll give it another quick clean. Shake yeah, we're off. So this is uh, Back to the Future for Imageworks. Imageworks were quite big in the day. A pro production of... What is the theme? 
for Back to the Future? I have got no idea. Oh yeah, of course it is. Do 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 do. Sorry, I'm I'm spoiling this epic music. If we get a copyright on this, I'll be. Yeah, 1991. This was so yeah, it would make sense because it was 1990 when I was in uh, Birmingham doing this because it was Italian 90 was on. That's why I remember. Oh no! It's the bloody horse! Right, let's have a go. See how far I can get. See if it's easier. Oh, here we go. The buckaroo's out of control. He's heading for the ravine. Right, that's down. That's... Dead. This is so bad, it's brilliant. Oh. Dead. I mean, now, come on. There was no way I even knew he was there. Dead. This is so bad. Oh, for God's sake. Hundreds, wasn't she? And he Doc met her when he travelled back in time. So how that would she know who Mary Poppins was? <laughs> it lies Clara Caton, teacher for a day, died in a ravine. Forget it, Doc. I'll do it. No, no, no. I'll try again. I can try again. She's dead. How do you jump? Oh, there we go. Oh, for God's sake. Right, so jump, you have to press up, and then you have to, you have to press, I don't even know what you have to do anymore. Oh, it's definitely the worst Back to the Future movie. What, what, what was that? What was that? Right, shot summer. Hooray, I've got a point. Literally, you get a nose of a horse. She's dead again. She wishes you were Mary Poppins. Ah. Well, the good news is I'm halfway through the 12 unboxed games before I get to the rather cool boxed Mega, uh, Mass System games. Um, but needless to say, that's enough time spent on Back to the Future 3. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough, is what I would say to that game, because you will not get anywhere. These games are coming up later, probably. Uh, delay on this is quite long as well. Yeah, it's, I gave up waiting for, to see where we're up to on that. So the delay is pretty huge. So let's go back to the live cam. So I can actually see what's going on. Just tacky TV. Nothing really works. <laughs> Iconic theme tunes. Okay then, guys and girls. Uh, NES worse, but least playable you mean it was at least playable or it was less playable uh it's worth watching all the way through leprechaun but uh, i wouldn't go out of your way um so anyway oh you're doing a dissertation thomas and i'm keeping you saying oh my god i hope you're writing about uh, games anyway so we've just got remember these are not in any order this is completely random um I've just stacked them up and I'm just working my way down the down the pile. So we've just had Match of the Back to the Future, which had a quite an iconic theme tune. Um but it never made the charts. But let's think of uh, a double movie franchise from this era that got possibly or well, certainly a top three hit, which is still played at, probably at certain birthday parties and things like that now. Has had a, a sequel in the last two years that wasn't very readily liked, and is having another sequel done with the original cast who was still alive in the near future. So the question is, what is the next game? I will give you at least thirty seconds to figure that out because there's a hell of a lag between what I'm saying and what you actually type. So, 
Um, it's just a recap, although it's no point because by the time you see the recap, I'll have already told you the answer. Um, you can't phone a friend, but that is a clue. Sort of. Home Alone. No, Thomas got it. Well done, Thomas. Da -da 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 -da. Da 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 go Spasters! Now I'm sure I had this on the Commodore 64 because being a, an adult um, at the time uh, I didn't buy children's games consoles because I was an adult. <laughs> yeah right, look at me now. Jeez, I'm wearing a Sonic t-shirt playing games online chatting crap to people. So I've really grown up, haven't I? But anyway... Uh, I bought myself a, a, a Commodore 60, well I bought a VIC-20, then a 64 uh, and an Amiga because they were home computers but all I did was play games on them. Uh, but it wasn't a toy like this thing was, which is why I never had a Master System. It was only when I was working in a shop uh, uh, some years later and we imported the Mega Drive from Japan I realised that consoles were not toys. So, Johnson's Cotton Buds are coming in again. So, a bit on the end, give the cartridge a rub. This is probably haunted. Paranormal investigation going on here. Let's let's have some mates hide in the corner throwing bricks at us and see if we can make millions. Yeah, that's a good idea. Sorry, just I got off one of my friend's YouTube channel. Uh, do original content that's your own work, that's what I say. Right then, so, Ghostbusters. <laughs> Actually, the question is, Toff, what was the theme tune to Home Alone? Did it get into the top three? They did four of them, and I have heard they are doing a remake, but it'd be dead easy now, because you just put your... You get your kids tagged at the back, and then you just look at the app, and you know where they are. So, it wouldn't be lost, Kevin. They'd know, they'd know where he was. Anyway, we digress. Ghostbusters. So we've, we've, we've gone through some iconic movies, actually. We mentioned Terminator earlier. Uh, we've just done uh, Back to the Future. And we're doing now Ghostbusters. But as I said, this was I had this on the Commodore 64. And it was shockingly bad, yet brilliant at the same time. My favourite bit was where you were driving Ecto uh, along the roads. But it just looked cack. And I have no idea whether this is the same version or not. But I would imagine it would be. So let's have a look. There's only one way to find out, Miss Money Penny, and that is to just check what she uh, thing says. So, it just says Ghostbusters. Push start button. New game. Start. Continue. Start. Push start button. Start. Oh, sound. Name entry. Oh, it's two. So we'll, we'll go for EG. For Elder Gamer. Money. Oh, welcome to the business world. You are now the proud owner of a new franchise. The bank will advance you $10,000 for equipment. Woohoo! Use it wisely. Push button. Uh, economy, slow, six items. Hearse, normal, nine items. Common, fast, 11 items. Um, fastest, yeah, can't afford that one. We'll go for the hearse, shall we? Because, well... That's what you do, isn't it? Oh, shoot. I forgot about this. Uh, equipment. So we'll go for the PK energy detector. Okay. We'll go for the marshmallow sensor. I don't think we need the marshmallow sensor. Let's go for that one instead. Right, it's got two parts. How many parts can we have? Ghost vacuum, we definitely need one of them. Ghost bait, we definitely need one of them. Ghost trap, need one of them. Oh, can I have more than one? Let's have another one then. There we go. Laser confinement system. Good God, how much stuff is there? I can't afford a... High capacity trap now. I've spent my money. Super sensor marshmallow. Super PK energy detector. Sounds like an Nigerian scam. <laughs> Let's have a look. See if we can get on with this. 
Right, okay. I think we've done now, haven't we? Let's go for the marshmallow. And then I've spent all my money then. Right, I've got no money left. I've got no money left. Yeah, okay. Alright, okay. Yay! Oh, it's not the car. That's a bit disappointing. Oh, there you go. Do -do 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 -do. Spy Hunter! So cr we can go in and out. What the hell? Oh no! You know it's gonna slay now, isn't it? Get to Zool. No. You have no empty traps. Oh, I have to go to GCHQ. Oh. I've noticed as well that we, even though I've gone around all these corners, we are literally just driving along a straight. Road. And I can't control the speed at all. I can just control the steering. So I just go in the middle there. I just go left and right. Oh, okay, then he's forced me over here now. Whoa! Don't know if these yellow ghosts look like radioactive. See my naughty form bananas. That's a, there's a there's a thing that we don't need to worry about just yet. Come on, we need to get up there, thank you. Oh no, everyone's going mad. I've stopped him. Alright, I can stop him. I can stop I didn't know I could stop him. I was avoiding him. Turns out I can stop him. I run him over. There you go, caught one. Alright, so you can run them over in the car and then pick them up on the way. So there should be another one in a minute. At this speed, I'll never catch him. There he is. Got you. Oh, missed you. Got you, though. Nope. Okay. Alright, put it there. Got one. Oh, he slimed me. Something strange. Who you got a call? Frank Sinatra! I want to go that way. Can I? Why can't I go that way anymore? I want to go up there. I want to go up there. Come on! 
Let me go up there. Wanna go down there? Come on! Strange, you hear the thing. Here you come, go, Mickner. Not so, you shy me. Got ya. I can't get... I can't get in that bit there. And I can go down so I can, If I go down I can go up. Right, I'll just wait here for you. There you go. Right. It's going out to my stuff. It's out to be junk. Right, I've got to catch these. And dodge the cars. And dodge the roadworks. There's one. Getting good at this game. I want to go up there. 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 Can I go down then? If I go down, I can go up. <laughs> I want to go up. Just let me go up there. Just let me go up there. There we go. I want to go that way now. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Right, that's enough of that. <laughs> so Ghostbusters, that tune's just going in my head and in my head and in my head. Right, next up. Oh my God, I've just seen what's after this one. Right. So, next game is uh, an iconic individual of Formula One status, who was a true master of his craft and not an annoying, self-centred, tax-dodging bleep that we currently have as a world champion. It is, of course, the late, great Etten Senna, and it is Monaco GP2. Now, to be fair, these games are not the best. Mansell, yeah, I'll give you Mansell. Uh, these games were not the best, but, uh, you know, it was 1980s, 1990s. Oh, my God, the might of dust on this as well. Schumacher. <laughs> oh, you're supposed to be doing a dissertation, Thomas, not what listening to me and joining in. Where shall we go today? Where shall we go? Where do you want to go today? Let's visit Monaco GP2. So it's the second one. Played this on the Mega Drive. Never played it on the Master System. As you may have guessed, I'm not a, a Lewis Hamilton fan. But that's because I've got morals. 
Produced under the supervision of Ayrton Senna. 1992. Oh my god, that wasn't long before, was it? I don't know what year it was, but it was it was a tragedy. Tragi right then. Uh, free practice. I won't be on this for long. Surprised you're not sneezing with all that dust. To be fair, it's quite static, so it's all right. It's not. Uh, it's not that bad. Right, world championship. Why not? New game. Password again. Welcome to world championship. Welcome to world championship. You are my rival. Good luck. Right, I'm up against Ayrton Senna in his prime. I'll quit now. Round one, USA. What trike is that? Where was it? Because the trike they raced at now was brand new, wasn't it? This reminds me of Pit Stop 2. If you had a Commodore 64, you'll remember that. Oh, I can change gears. Oh. I never change gears in games. So the faster you go around the corner. Ah! Oh dear, sorry. I'm saying sorry to Senna. He's happy. So six gears. Just noticed that it's got six gears. This car. If this was Monaco, I'd be off there, wouldn't I? But it's not. It's America, so we're all right. For legal reasons, it's not Formula One as well. Crashed again. Pull position. It's weird. Uh, accelerating and braking just using gears. <laughs> Although, <laughs> I did experience that quite recently. In real life. Well, the braking part, anyway. That's another story for another day. Two of six. Oh, chicane. I've got the hairpin coming up. A double hairpin. This is weird. Controls on this are bizarre. Should we go around this full pelt? Yeah, should we go around the next one full pelt as well? Yeah, and then we go forward here and then we'll slow down for this corner. Okay, I didn't slow down, I sped up in fact. Right, I think this is enough of this. Three hundred and twenty six kilometres an hour. And we will leave it there. So that was out in Certain's Grand Prix two. This was their second attempt. Crikey. Mind you, like I say, that was that was a game of the time. If you're around at the time, you would you would you would you would know what that was. I.e. that would be like, oh it's great that. Right then. So <laughs> Hardest game I've played so far tonight was Back to the Future. Three. So what's this game? 
I didn't even know this even existed. This is Back to the Future 2. <laughs> oh my lordy. Um, yeah. Two. Yep, you're right, Toff. Two. I know you you said that before I turned it around, so I'll uh, I'll give you that one. Um, actually, this cartridge is weird because it's got teeth missing, but deliberately got teeth missing. I don't understand quite how that works. Ow. So it's like me ex teeth missing. That was cruel. Oh well. To be fair, I've, I've probably got, well, I've got a couple of teeth missing, but anyway, that's another story. So, now that, look at the game here, look at the cartridge. You see that line there, that white line? That is rub from it being pushed in and out. So this, possibly, is the only game that's got that on out of this whole lot, apart from the next but one one. Um, so that means it's a good game. Obviously, whoever had this before kept going back to it. That was <laughs> only one way to find out. Fight! Oh, no, wrong show. Sorry. Let's see what we get. We get the Sega logo, which is always good. And we get Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Try again. Maybe this is why they plugged it in and out that many times. They've worn the label down, trying to get the thing to bloody work. Right, come on. Let's try again. Took a bit longer that time, didn't it? This is taking longer as well. There you go, it's Imageworks. What they've done to the music. What year are we are? Uh, starring you as Marty McFly, Dr. Emmett Brown, Jennifer, and whatever. Mitch. All right, and the future family. So all these people. Uh, so, 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 so it's 1990. What were you doing in 1990? I was working in a shop in... Uh, Birmingham. I've told you this before. Getting back was only the beginning. Back to the future too. Oh, where we're going? We don't need Roach. Oh, Poe. Sorry. Let's do that again, shall we? Uh, I got far too excited. Start it from the beginning so you don't miss anything. So Imageworks presents. Just pretend like they, you know, we'll edit that bit out. Back to the Future 2. You, starring you as Marty McFly, Dr. Emmett Brown, Jennifer, Biff Tannen, Griff Tannen, 3D Skinhead Spike, Mitch, Data, Starlighter, Valley Police, Press Fire to Play. Right, we're going to read on these roads. Okay, uh, we're, right, we're up to, yeah. Marty, you have to gotta come back with me. Where? Back to the future. <laughs> okay. I've got more of a chance with this one, though, to be fair. Did Image just do games that you could never do? I got something there. What did I get? Nothing. Oh. 
Yeah, I was thinking Paperboy as well. Where we're going, we don't need Rhodes. To be fair, I've never been to Rhodes. It's an island in Greece. So I've got through life without needing roads. Love the flicker on it. Right, I'm gonna have to fight these guys. Okay, we're not gonna have to fight these guys. That would be stupid. Only a fool would fight these guys. Trying to avoid them. <laughs> ah! Oh god, you imagine you paid 50 quid for this back then, which would be about the equivalent of 80 quid now. How are you enjoying the game, John? Oh yeah, it's great, Ma. It's the best game you've ever bought me with a. It's better than Back to Future 3, though. Right. See, that's what you're missing out on. I bet you wish you hadn't bothered now. I know I do. Right, so, <laughs> back to the future. Now, arcade classic with a arcade classic theme. Uh, if you were lucky and you went into the arcade, you would have a, uh, it's a racing game, you'd have a vehicle that you could sit in. So the game, obviously, is possibly a Ferrari. I don't know, was it? Did you ever decide what vehicle it was? I don't know. Oh, my God, this cartridge is filthy. Oh my word. Bear in mind I'm only rubbing the teeth on these. I'm not actually rubbing the inside of the cartridge. Rose is really nice. Decided I'd drop, dump my crazy ex while I was there. Wait until it was over as I didn't want any stress. <laughs> wow. I hope he took it well. Uh, so there you go. That's the muck off this cartridge. So, I feel like I've been on a road trip. Or uh, what joggers do when you go outside. Fat boy. Mm. Outside. What do you do? What's it called? Iconic. Car. Hair. Girl. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? That's right, it's called Outrun. From the makers of other Outrun games comes Outrun. So, I can't remember what the tune is, so this could be interesting. But I'll remember when it starts playing it badly in 8 bit. Okay, it sounds very much like Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> it's not, though. Did I mention it's a very dirty cartridge? I don't know if I did or not. Uh, it's that dirty, I'm going to give it another clean. So talk, talk amongst yourself. Oh, by the way, thanks for getting me over 700 subs. If indeed you have. If you haven't, get me to 800. Come on, let's get to 1,000. Get the old guy to 1,000. Prove that you don't have to be young and fit to be... Uh, a live streamer on the mobile phone anymore. Right then. Let's try again. I'm feeling confident this time. It's very rare you get a cartridge that doesn't work. <laughs> I think she took it well, can't tell over text. <laughs> Yeah, this is the iconic thing, isn't it? Hands up if you ever played, sat in the car in uh, an arcade like in Blackpool or Brighton or uh, Scarborough or any other place I've done a Let's Visit. Right, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, I got That's because I blew that cartridge, isn't it? You were right, Toph. It's got right up my nose. Right. 
All right, here we go. Go! Okay, I needed to press accelerate. I press brake. Look at the realism. I didn't even steer then to go around the corner. I'm steering now, obviously. There's no map or anything. It doesn't tell you... If you suffer from uh, lighting uh, uh, photosynthesis, I wouldn't watch this. I've just realised. No, this is aimed at kids. But as we're talking about in the shop today, I've got a 12-inch portable TV in the shop, a CRT one, and uh, it's taken me all this time to pass. Oh, that's because I'm in the wrong gear. Um, the hell's that? I have to change gear again. Uh, yeah, anyway, yeah. Uh, and when there's nothing on the TV screen, it's just the white noise, the fuzzy thing like you get on the, um, uh, Poltergeist movie with a little girl with the blonde hair. And when the teller went off at night, because there was, you know, there wasn't many channels, and it wasn't 24 hours a day, so when the teller went off, you ended up uh, with that just playing in a dark room, and then you'd wake up, uh, and that would be the whole room. And nowadays, anything like this, or if there's, you know, like some someone on the telly having the photograph taken, oh dear, um, they give you a warning. But back in the day, it was like, no. Oh, no, whoa! I don't know what happened there. Another road split into two. I think that was deliberate. Oh! Wow! Goodbye, retinas. Game over. Yeah, because you blinded me. Jesus! Rill. The Pearl of the Northwest. <laughs> oh, anyway, that was Outrun. Uh, great game. Next up, one I've never heard of, so we'll keep this short and simple. This is uh, the white dot at the end of programs. There's our clay club in Bury. There is, I've never been, which is a shocker. I should do a let's visit there, I'm sure they'd let me. Um, I've generally never been. Look at the state of this cartridge, jeepers. It's fair to say these cartridges were, uh, were played. I mean, this one's slightly worn as well on the edges. Not as much as the other one, but still. Um, I think it is definitely a job for Cotton Bud. Cotton Bud, Cotton Bud, what are they feeding you? Cotton Bud, Cotton Bud, it's crap off these cards. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't have to talk a lot of crap, do I? I do apologise. So if you, just, if you want me to be quiet and do like other streamers who just don't say anything, then just let me know and I'll, I'll be quiet for a bit. I've been Banger for three years, I miss World. Snowdonia is something else. Oh, I lived in Banger for three years. <laughs> I felt that go in my eye that time. Oh, God. Right. The good news is there's only one more cartridge left after this, which is that one. Oh, my God, and you are in for a treat. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh god. They're the ones we've played. So we've played them already. So if you joined us late. We used to go to Anglesey. I've been to Anglesey. It's on a video. Let's visit Wales. The Welshies. Anyway, I digress. Spellcaster is on next. And hi. No nothing about this game. Hi. No nothing. Other than it was made in 1989. So let's just go in here full bore and blind. New game. Oh, here we go. Why have they put a frame and then put the writing outside the frame? Kane is now 
at Sun. Who's Kane? And what do you mean now? Diacac, I have answered your call. What call? Okay then. Welcome, Brave Warrior. Ah, there we go. Enrique Temple has been attacked and plundered. I don't think his voice actually match matches his body, to be fair. But let's keep going with it now. This can only be the work of evil forces. It is the latest of many such attacks. I fear it means war. Through the identity of the enemy remains. No, 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 the identity of the enemy remains unknown. I sent her men from Tokak village to guard in the temple. But there has been no word from them. That's because the internet hasn't been invented yet, mate. It's 1989. Kane, your destiny is somehow bound to the attacks on our temples. Are you blaming Kane for this? I know he's a bit of a get in uh, Emmerdale, but I mean, come on, attacking temples. I don't think he'd do that. Our fates are in your hands. Isn't it our fate is in your hands? Will you go and help them? Hope go there and help us learn the nature of the enemy. You know what? I can't be bothered. I think I'll go home and have my tea. My mum's got my favourite on spike ball. Move, talk, look, take, use, spell. Wow. 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 Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? It's the little things out of ghosts and goblins. There's a bridge there I need to jump on. There we go. I've got it. Oh, he's dropped an egg. This is a bit like Last Battle, isn't it? You're slightly OP'd. I've oh, got blue balls. Oh, it's a different thing now. We're throwing out blue balls. Okay. Still the same effect. The difference is palpable. Oh, this is a big one. Oh, okay. Oh, hi up. Do big ones as well. Oh, he drowned me. Well, he's Russian. <laughs> Kane, you can't die yet. Not here. Not in the lake. Because you can swim. So just swim. I'm pressing the buttons. No. You still have your mission to carry out. You can die afterwards. <laughs> Can't just rest for a while and heal yourself. Let's have a break. Rest a while and fulfill your task.
I have no opinion on Bury Football Club going down the toilet because I have no opinion on football. Oh, rest a while. Game over. Well, that's the end of that then, isn't it? It's a shame for the people. I feel more sorry for the people who work there. Uh, I.e. the ground staff and all those kind of people. You know, the women who work in the cafe and all that kind of stuff. If it does go belly up. Because they have lost their jobs through absolutely no fault of their own. Same with the players as well. But the problem we've got at the minute is football is too money orientated. When I was a kid, and Toff will back me up on this, uh, Liverpool, at least half the players were from Liverpool. Same with Everton, Manchester, um, Arsenal, Chelsea and all that. It was just proper people playing football for the local team, literally the local team. Now you might as well support any team in the world because it's about as local as the players on your team. And all it is about now is the money. And that's a shame. Because that's why we'll never win another World Cup. Because it's all about the money. Anyway, that's me having a whinge about something I know nothing about. So that is um, the, the next cartridge which I have cleaned. Now, let's do another little quiz. Anyone can answer. It doesn't have to be tough for anyone else. Anyone, who, if you're watching, you can answer. Um, a game on the Mega Drive that had an iconic soundtrack all the way through it. It had someone shouting out a name all the time, which started to get irritating after about level two. The reproduction on... 16 bit of the music was so bad it was brilliant the gameplay was questionable and the one tune you'd um expect to be on it even though there was a level that was set in the area that this tune was based in i.e a cemetery when you played that level, it was a different tune. So what game are we talking about? I shall give you a clue. I'll oh, actually I'll give you clues. I'm not going to give you another clue. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Thomas is thinking. To be fair, Thomas, you're probably too young for this. Although you will have heard of everything. I've. I've it'll all make sense song based in a graveyard with an iconic video a song not a tv program adam's family the adam's family started when uncle fester farted he farted through the keyhole and paralyzed the cats or something like that anyway no that's not it Thriller, yep, right, right, we're on the right legs. Game. Think of a game that didn't have Thriller in it, that should have had Thriller in it. It was also the name of a movie as well. And 50 years ago, man was actually doing this. Well, he'd just done it, actually. He was already back home. Toph didn't get it. Toph didn't get it. He nearly got it. Didn't get it. Nearly got it. Moonwalker, that's right. Leprechaun. It is Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. And on the Mega Drive, it sounds appalling. What the hell is it going to sound like on this? Uh, first level was Annie, Are You OK? Smooth Criminal. Uh, which is like a... <laughs> Completely wrong chunk. Cheer, but don't worry about it. Let's just pretend that never happened. We'll edit that out. Um, we'll see if this works. We need to get the full effect of this as well. Oh, don't do Sonic on me. I don't want Sonic. If I wanted Sonic, I'd have put Sonic in, wouldn't I? You can tell it's live, can't you? Oh, it's still Sonic. No. I've got to have the tune, because it's the best tune ever. <laughs> well, so it's <laughs> earnestly being the worst. If I come down with Dip Theory or something now. Ah. 
Right, so let's go back to this for a minute while I just have another clean of the cartridge. The arcade version, I know the arcade version was different, but they couldn't get the arcade version on 16-bit, could they? So this is this has cost me nearly a quid in um, think of Bob's today. This this game, this game, this this cast. So I really need to start earning some money. So please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. <laughs> oh God. Right. Let's see if it works. Sonic soon gonna play me. Oh, there we go. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker video game program. Blah. I'm not getting it. Oh. Right, there's absolutely no sound, which is a bit disturbing, but let's not worry about it. Michael! Right then. I only saw the movie once and thought it was a load of crap, but I like the songs in it. Michael Jackson's one of them, though, where my favourite song by him of all time is probably They Don't Care About Us. And my second one is probably Scream, even though I hate Janet Jackson. Here we go. Michael! Oh, she, just, she doesn't say Michael on this, which is fair enough. They haven't got the memory for it, have they, I suppose? And here we keep, I want TV. And here we keep, and here we keep, I want TV. And here we keep. Oh, it's him in the uh, gentleman's region there. It was a bit unnecessary, Michael. Michael! I'll, I'll do it for you. Oh, that doesn't work. It doesn't work going up then, does it? No, so this is always tricky going up. What the hell's that pose there? What is that? I want to go upstairs. It's so difficult about going upstairs. <gasps> Can you do the dance? They could do the dance. To be fair, that's pretty good. It's a shame the other characters don't do it with you, but I mean, for the, I mean, this is eight bit, isn't it? Let's be honest. That's pretty amazing. Right, I can't get upstairs, so I can't be honest with this. Right. So that was the last of our selection of unboxed Master System games that we traded in the other day. So next up, we have gotten, we have gotten a uh, boxed game, and this one is, again, a game I've never played. It's uh, Donald Duck, um, the Lucky Dime Caper, starring Donald Duck. Now, why the hell, even in 1990, uh, they put Donald Duck in a game when, you know, if you ask kids from that era even certainly now um to name their favorite disney characters 
Donald Duck wouldn't even get a mention. And Mickey Mouse would probably get an afterthought mention because they don't do anything with these characters anymore. They're just exiled to history. So this possibly is one of their last outings as something that was quite good. This was sold at Comet as well. That's an interesting fact. Well, I say interesting. That's probably overstating it in a minute. But that sign there says Comet. They're long gone as well. So, and what was it say there? The price there. Is it thirty two ninety nine? Yep, thirty two ninety nine. where my thumb is. 32 .99. So, someone paid quite a bit of money for this. And they've lost the instructions. Oh, I'd be so annoyed. Right then. So, three more games. And then it's bedtime. So, the Donald Duck Lucky Dime Caper starring Donald... I thought it said Donald M. Duck then. I was going to say, is he, uh, is he an M? Right, I don't think it needs cleaning. I'll give it a go, as is. Confrontation, the confrontation? No. Judgment intent? No. I don't even know what that means. Walt Disney Cooperation? Hey, Dewey, Louie. I have a special present for each of you. Is that a duck's talk? Gee, this is only 10 cents. Well, thanks, Uncle Scrooge, I guess. What's so special about a dime? When I began to make my fortune, I started... Why's he gone in the dark? I started with a dime. My lucky dime. Oh, my God, he's, he, it's Donald Trump. When I started my fortune, I started with just a million dollars. And now I'm president of the world. Yeah. Uh, no, Curry's and uh, Comet were very similar. Uh, they were around about the same time. There was another one called Rumbelows, which you definitely won't remember. Oh my god! Huey, Dewey, and Louie! I'll take that lucky dime. Magic to spell what magician to spell what you've done at last. These lucky dimes are mine. I'll use them to become even richer than you. Stop, give me back my dime. Wow, she disappeared. Donald, we have to get back that lucky dime. Fury, I gotta save Huey, Dewey and Louie first. Of course, but I'll give you a reward if you also get back my lucky dime. A reward? Oh, my boy, oh boy, I'm on my way. I thought I'd already pressed start button. Got a loading screen. the hell? I've heard of Rumble Oars, that's this. That's they sponsored the leak, brilliant. Where's my mallet?
Right, it takes the melt off you when you get hit once. What a rubbish game that is. So that was Donald Duck. Didn't we enjoy that? That was great. <laughs> I rented a TV and video recorder from Radio Rentals, but bought stuff from Rumbleos. I rented mine from Granada. Uh, next up, we have got Rainbow Islands, the follow-up. Now, this is weird. This is very weird. Um, Rainbow Islands is the follow-up to New Zealand Story. New Zealand Story was a game I have played on here, on the Mega Drive. Uh, the one with the little cute kiwi that goes, <coughs> when he dies. Uh, this was a follow-up, uh, but it's two young boys who make rainbows and then jump on them. Uh, oh, no, I, I stand corrected. No, this is a follow-up to Bubble Bubble. Yeah, sorry, bubble, sorry, ignore that, we'll edit that out. This is a follow-up to Bubble Bubble, uh, Rainbow Islands. But Bubble Bubble was a thing where you had two dragons and they, uh, they'd they make bubbles and then pop them. But the things would get caught in the bubbles and then they'd pop them and it'd be great and everything. And yeah, anyway, I stand. Um, let's pretend that never happened, it's fine. I can edit it out when I, when I render it later. What do you mean it's lay? Funnily enough, I was down uh, around Bath area and, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I passed, I think, Epsom. And that's where I got my Amiga from. But mail order out of a magazine. Epsom's computers or something like that. That's where I got my Amiga from. Mail order. It arrived. I come home from work and my mum's like, there's a parcel come for you and it's massive. I went, what are you on about? Because I've forgotten I'd ordered it. And uh, yeah, there it was, my Amiga. I loved that Amiga for about two years. And then I discovered the Mega Drive and that was that. Right, so it's Bo uh, Story Bubble Bobble 2. Now, Bubble Bobble 2 with dragons. These are little boys. Confused? You might be. I used to have this on the Mega Drive until I lent it my next door but one neighbour's son who never gave it me back and then denied ever having it. He's 30 odd now and he's bigger than me, so I don't mention it. Japanese import. What the what? Oh, here we go. So you make a rainbow, which doesn't even look like a rainbow, and then you jump on it, and that breaks it. What you do is you catch things like this. Oh, I hit it with a rainbow. It just doesn't say. And then they turn into fruit. There's fruit there as well, I didn't see that. The colours are a bit wild, aren't they? We've played other games and they've been alright. Get one in. Let's get one in a hole. No, nope, I can't do it. I'll make me run faster, will it? Yeah, it does. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the rainbows as well can be made for climbing on. There you go. I forgot that bit. So you can actually f fill the screen and go all the way up. I don't want to do that in a minute, but you know, I might do one day. So, so am I right in thinking you can't actually catch them in this game? Oh God. Very jolly song, isn't it? There 
There we go. I like happy songs. They make me happy. No, I don't think you can catch anything. I don't think it can cope with it, to be fair. Oh! Okay. Oh, we got double rainbows. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh, I went. Oh no. Oh, I got all the. I got all these. I done it. I done it. I done it. I'm happy. I got all this. I get a few seconds to collect everything though. Is that it? Couldn't play this version to my eyes in. Wow! <laughs> that got me retinas again. Oh, close. Oh, got him. The magic star. His ring. <laughs> Where's he going? Come here. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Lightning. Oh, no. It's gone. What do you think of Milton Keynes, by the way, Toph? I forgot to ask you. I think we're quite a long way into this now, so... I don't think many people will watch this far if it's not live. No, I'm dead. Anyway, that's the end of that, because, uh, to be fair, my eyes have literally just been burnt to a crisp. Crikey. Okay, next up on the last game for tonight is Tom and Jerry. And as well as the instructions, this has also got It was a good movie. It's also got this, which is a little booklet. With all the games you can get for the Mass System 2. Including. Oh, these are Mega Drive games. I'm sure they're Mega Drive. Oh, no, they're not. But look, look, what's that? Girls and Ghosts. Yay! And then you've got uh, Golden Axe, Outrun, uh, Dragon, Shinobi, Afterburner, uh, Chase HQ, Moonwalker. We've just seen that. Um. Oh, what have we got here? Cloudmaster, Transbot, Miracle Warriors, Fantasy Star, um, Sports Games, Heavyweight Champ. Uh, we've got uh, Poker, Casino Games, Parlor Games, mm. Ghostbusters, who you got to call? Cyber Shinobi, Jungle Fighter, Wonder Boy, Psycho Fox. California games, tennis ace, and then you've got all the accessories that you could have with it as well. Look, true 16 bit power, Sega Mega Drive, push into game, push into game. And uh, 
the, the, that's the controller. That's your uh, light phaser gun thing. That's your rapid fire unit. You had to buy a separate unit to have rapid fire. And that was a joystick that they sold. We've had one of them in the shop recently. The uh, Sega joystick sold it pretty much straight away. And that's how it came boxed. So uh, a little uh, little catalogue there for the Master System 2 with the Tom and Jerry game. But the Tom and Jerry game is going to be the last game tonight. I say there's no order to these games. There's no favourite, no anything. It's just 15 games that we'd rattle through as quick as we can and just see what we think of them. I like the way that uh, it's going back to Milton Keynes and the, in 1989 I threw to myself what's that about anyway Tom and Jerry is a movie it looks like I'm on a green screen which is ironic because I've got a green screen behind me <laughs> I missed the theme tune off the plate again I'm not playing this, I'm watching this. Wow! Oh, he's a mouse, yeah, he can climb up things, can he? I'm so watch out for the spikes. Right, so let's do the theme tune again. Anything I'm familiar with. Right then, so let's see what the game's like. I imagine the game's going to be superb. 1992. It can't not be. Stage one, the kitchen. It's in the kitchen, it's pots and pans. I'm actually doing anything here. Hang on a minute. <laughs> I thought I was playing as the mouse. I was playing as the cat, wasn't I? <laughs> right, let's do it differently this time, shall we? Stage one, the kitchen. Oops, I'm on fire. Right, 
Right, it works better when you know what character you are. I'd sooner be the mouse. It's water. Right, I was supposed to avoid that. Got ya. So I forgot his claws on Jerry. But wait, no, it can't be. You can't believe it. Jerry has gotten away. Come on, Tom, after him. Oh no, he's got away. Stage two, the garden. Just know they're going to collapse, don't you? Yeah. Right, anyway, that's that. I'm surprised you found none of the cows there, only a horse. Yeah, it wasn't a very active horse either, to be fair. There was a dog swimming in a in a fountain 30 years ago. What more do you want? Crikey. Some people. Shish. So, anyway, that is the end of today. Just because. Just because. Uh, oh, you enjoyed it. Uh, a bit different doing the mass system. All these games got traded in in one go, so I thought it'd be fun to bring them home and have a play in them. And to be fair, I quite thoroughly enjoyed that. Uh, I've had to pick my top three. Which top three would I pick? Uh, ooh, I think Moonwalker must be on there somewhere. Uh, Hmm. I think I'd probably go for the top three. Yeah, I'm actually going to say I actually quite enjoyed playing Ghostbusters. Um, and I'd have to put a boxed Rainbow Island there as well. So out of the 15, they're my top three because uh, they were pretty cool. So, yeah, Master System, never had one. I don't think, well, I mean, I've got one now. But uh, I don't think I really missed out. Uh, 
Oh, stop the pigeon. Stop the pigeon. Stop the pigeon. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, yeah, see where we're coming from. Unfortunately, I, I only did two other, two other ones that I've not put up yet. One's Brighton and one's London in 1989. And uh, I've been back. So they will be going up at some point in the future. In it. In it. So, uh, yep, yeah, that's it. Hopefully you've enjoyed tonight's rather long broadcast. Uh, I thought it was uh, entertaining because uh, I played lots of games I've never played before. I mean, they literally all were first play. Um, I don't know which one out of them is my favourite. Um, I, I, don't, I don't think I've got a favourite particularly, but those were the three. Ironically, they're all... I know they're not. Ghostbusters isn't a platform game, is it? I'll tell you my least favourite two. Back to the Future 2 and Back to the Future 3. God, they're impossible. Good morning, see you later. Good morning, Ultimate Gear. So let's have a chat to ever. well, let's have a give. Oh my word, there's been a lot of chatting tonight. So thank you very much for your interactions. Uh, Toph, War Ready, um, Ultimate Go, The One Leprechaun, Thomas Bayer, Bowers. Have you actually done your dissertation or have you just given up and gone to bed? Um, I think I took. I think I'm. I might be the reason he fails university, which is a bit worrying. One leprechaun, Moonwalker. Yeah. Thomas. 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 Yeah, well, I'm not going to do them all together. I'm going to spread them out a bit because otherwise it's going to be a bit like... Oh, he's done them all now. Mm, got no more. So I'll, I'll do them in the future. Anyway, uh, thank you, everybody, for your interaction. We've had quite a few people watching this one. It's probably been one of my most popular long casts that I've done. Uh, we're up to seven at one point, which is pretty cool. Um, so I appreciate that. Um, and I will see the all again at some point in the future. So take care, have a lovely night, uh, or a morning, a day, or whatever it is you've got. Uh, see you, Toph. See you, Ultimate Go. See you. Uh, who was the other one? Thomas, who seems to have gone quiet now. Uh, so he's either turned me off so he can get his dissertation done, or he's gone to bed because he can't be asked doing it now because it's too late. Either way, I feel slightly guilty. Sorry, Thomas. Uh, peace and love and whatever. I don't even know what that is. That's not peace, is it? What's peace? That's peace. No, that's not peace. Anyway, whatever. Yeah. But see you later. Uh, see you, Toph. Thanks again for everything. And, uh, yeah. Until next time. Goodbye. <laughs>